Hello everybody, just wanted to go ahead and do a little bit more sharing. Uh, this is actually how I store my stamps. This is a golf ball holder and I put my stamps in there. I got it for the thrift store for $4. And this is some more stamps where I do my stamps and my punches and I'm actually in the middle of um, moving this to the garage. So, yeah. And this was actually free. And the other side, I don't know, I'm going to try and go this way. This is the other side of a baby crib that my neighbor was throwing away. So I took it and I altered it a bit. I stuck, took the slats and I stuck these like little teacup hooks on them. And that's how I storm all my, my yarn. Sorry, it's like all junky in here because I am moving it to the garage because we're going to do this in here. And I'm going to go over here real quick so I'm going to cover. Sorry. We're going this way so you can see my... Okay. So right here, and this is how I store my, my stamps. You can see I don't have a whole lot of them. But I used the old CD cases and I got this um, rack for $4.95 at Goodwill. I went to Goodwill and I saw them and it holds 100 So I put my Magnolia stamps in there and I have one for ink stamps and one for food food stamps. And you see that one's empty. <laughs> But that's actually how I store my stamps. I put them in there. Let me see if I can get over there. Because like I said, I'm going to move my stuff to the garage. We'll just do this one. See, this is, it says Cupid Tilda. And then I have the little, and then I have my stamp in there. But that's how I store them. And I just thought I'd share. So, because I can't afford, you know, not to be mean. I'm not working. So my husband, he pampers me and he buys me all these you know, little things for there and there, and I'm not trying to break the bank with my husband, so he treats me very good. And uh, but anyways, that's where how I do. I, I'm storing my stamps for right now. So just thought I'd throw that out there as an idea. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.